Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Just having a quick look at how my batteries are doing. I've got one full. That one's equivalent to three of them, effectively. So yeah, I've got enough power. Um, I don't think see from there. I stuck a stack on my fuel burner, so I can dump a load of coal in there to charge them up if I need be. Um, I did have a storm while I was offline, and the uh, can we see it from here? Oh yeah, there we go. This big wind turbine was kicking out 10 kilowatts of power during the storm, so it's doing an awesome job. Um, however, I'm drawing quite a bit of current these days, around about 4 kilowatts, and that's before I start charging batteries. Uh, yeah, so I don't know any major changes in here since my last video. This is pretty much the same. Um, I'll show you what I've done outside. I've not done a huge amount, and tend this to be a fairly short video anyway. Um, out here, there's nothing really to see out here, um, except you might notice there's a couple of um, shells missing. Uh, I've moved most of my storage out here now, and I've got rid of the vending machine. The reason being, Amy's been doing such a good job. Um, she got rid of all that yeah. She got rid of all that iron down there. No, not yet. Um, she, Amy's been doing such a good job that. Um, she filled it. She filled all 100 slots on the vending machine and there was nowhere else for it to go. So I've actually... That, that cable's not really needed there. I've actually had to now tie this back into... If you look where it goes. Up there, across there, around there. My station storage. So that's going all into my station storage now. Um, sorry, I just don't need that cable there. Uh, get that. Take you up quickly. Um, 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 you. These can go on my backpack. Actually, I need one on me. To replace that. And then you can go back down. Like so. Um, Amy stopped because she must have mined out where I had a mining. She has been behaving herself recently. Um, however, she did get... After the last video, I uh, let her run for a bit. I was like, I haven't seen a robot in ages. Um, so if you notice, I've put a load of boarding around here. And around here, and around here. And some bits here. The reason being, she actually got stuck. right in there literally in there and I couldn't get her out and I dismantled this whole thing just to get her out um, yeah so I put some boarding up to try and stop her driving into there or it driving into there because I keep seeing her and my mind to her um, so yeah be aware of that but since I reloaded um, after the previous videos I made and I reloaded she's been behaving really well she's a uh, been mining where I expected to mine. She's not been trying to go over this way. She's brought back loads of stuff. As you can see, she's got ore on at the minute, but she stopped because where I sent her to out there is obviously now out of ore. So, let's. Uh, where's my GPS? Stick you in there. No, not really. Take you all on out. And go find somewhere else for you to mine. All right, what's over this way? No holes. No holes, some ice and things. So let's say here. What's this? Are you flat? Oh no, flat battery. Minus 26, minus 51. So she's stood all around these bits here. Yeah, I know there's some iron still left by my entrance, but... And there's a little bit there, but, you know, she's done quite well. He, it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, mine, minus 26, minus 51. Confirm. Export. And go and have a mine. She probably go out and then come back and unload first. Um, you can go back in there. You can go back in there. So yeah, I moved all my, uh, most of my storage into here. 
Um, something else I have done is, I'll show you from here, see this orange pipe running in, I'm now running my furnace from my uh, fuel farm, my the fuel farm, um, and then I have the waste pipe. It was going out from where it was in the floor down here, it's now going up over the top, up on the top there, and on the roof, it's venting up there, and I can control it from when inside the building down there, one on one event. Um, the other thing I've done is I have built the other three silos. So I've now got four ice silos. I haven't put the walls up yet, I haven't put the signs up yet. I will get around to that. We are now collecting. Um, what's this one? Um, 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 I think this one is oxide, volatiles, water ice. And nitrice, so we, that's what Amy's collecting anyway. Um, I did have a bit of a problem, I had a backlog earlier when things weren't working right. I forgot to turn one of these on and it caused a backup. Yeah, that's still running, that's been going well, so that's been dumping loads of ore. Um, so, yeah, so I had a backup and it was literally back all the way up through the system and I worked out what it was. And I just hadn't turned one of these on once I turned it on, it cleared itself quite quickly. Um, what else have I done? done. I think that's probably about it from last time. I don't think of anything else I may have done. Nothing through here, nothing through here. Um, I put some signs up just so I know what the different, well just to help you guys as much as anything. So that's the coordinates for the uh, X, Y hangar door. So if you look at the hangar there, if you can see it when I flick the switch, if I can do both. Uh, I can't really. Can I? Can I? There we go. See the hangar door comes down. Hangar door goes up. And that is just done with... Uh, oh, that's hidden behind there. A logic reader reading the status, the activation status of that switch. And then write batch writing to the open um, status of the doors. Oh yeah, there she is, there's Amy, over there, doing a bit of mining away. Um, yeah, that's been about it, guys, really. Um, I've not done much more than that. Um, trying to think of anything else I've done. I don't think I have. Obviously, I tied the fuel... You can't see it, you can see it there. The yellow, orange fuel line runs in through here. I did put a valve on it there, just so I can turn it off, need be. So it's been pressurised by the same network the same pump. I pressurise the fuel for my um, combustion centrifuge. So all that's tied in together. Uh, what we have at the moment. 4.7. Um, I may put an expansion tank out here. But I haven't decided yet. It seems to be running okay. How are we doing pressure? Any Ooh, turn me head up, me spot it off. 3.2 2.78. could probably do with getting some ore in there. I know we've got volatiles and oh, stop walking into everything. I know we've got both volatiles and um, nitrous nitrogen in there. Which one am I after? That one. Let's just see how we're doing in you. So that's still got 0 0.001% and 0.005% of nitrogen. Um, obviously the nitrogen the volatiles are in there. I will have to filter that, the volatiles out if I want to make that into um, nitrous oxide. You're still just nitrogen, yeah. And to be fair, that nitrogen and volatiles in that oxygen is so low, it's not really having much of an effect, if any. How our filters doing though? Oh, that's why I, they're both zero. Let's replace both of them. And I think I've actually got some. Ninety-three and eighty-eight. And that wasn't planned. That was just the fact that I actually had some left over from something else I was doing. Um, go in there. You can go in there.
And that can go in there, and that can go in there. And so can that. And I've just had a filter low warning, so no doubt I've got a couple of filters I can just bin off as well. Yep, that. And that. Right, you can go off what you've got in you. Six grams of rice. Oh, so it did. That's interesting. I screwed up making some charcoal and I had a reagent mix and I threw it in here thinking nothing would come of it. Um, it's actually split into 20 grams of rice. So when that finishes I might recover that rice and turn it back into charcoal. Um, properly this time. And if you want to know what will happen it'll just end up in here. When I eject it the rice will come through into here. Um, Yeah, I can quickly show you that if you just dump anything random into here. Let's just dump some cables in. They will all get filtered out. And whatever's left goes into the vending machine. And the reason I did that is if anything unusual gets in there. I need to get some steel. I've got some steel. I can hear it coming around. Oh, there it goes. It's gone into me. Vending machine. So the vending machine's a good catch-all at the end of your system. Um, later on, when I'm making rockets, I will want uh, probably to use to start catching the ice that the rockets bring back. Uh, there's so many variants of it. I need to vend that. Um, that you need something like the vending machine to capture it. You can hear. I don't know if you can hear it all clicking away in the background. Are you dumping? Oh, it must be Amy. Amy must be back. And here they're all clicking away. Nicely suggesting that things are being... Yeah, she's just been back and dumped a load of stuff. Talking of rockets, um, that's kind of the next thing I want to do. So, um, I'm going to change this around a bit. I'm going to bring uh, this at one more. So I can get some stairwells up to go up here. I'm going to move this up there I think, you know, I might just turn the moment. Um, yeah, stairwell up here on the roof so I can start building on this area here, make use of this and this space here. So we'll be filling all this in with um, frames. And then I think we need, I'm going to start um, looking at building my rocket. And I think I want to build my rocket in the side of this mountain. Um, yeah, make, have to dig outside the mountain and dig down a bit. I could always put some hangar doors above it so that it, you know, once it lands... Ooh, how tall is it? Yeah, once the rocket lands, the hangar doors shut over the top of it. You know, a bit like um, one of those James Bond films, I can't remember which one it is now, where the, the, the rockets launch from inside the mountain. Um, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, and to start doing that I need to really start drilling it out don't I so whoa, 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 whoa. what level do I want to start at this level I guess so let's just bring up our miner set you to flatten how's your battery doing 87% that's okay. Turn it on. Um, this is a big drill and it'll just cut straight through this. No messing around. You can almost walk just straight in with this look. Oh, except the was too low. <laughs> so I can just I'll quickly be able to carve out a a base inside the, the mountain with this. You can see where I've been digging already, there's big holes either side of me. Um, I'll have to fill those in probably. But yeah, um, what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea building the mountain? Uh, building my rocket base in the mountain? Or should I be building it out in a plane somewhere where it's in uh, full view? Um, 
obviously I'm going to need a huge fuel form for that as well. That's the other thing I need to do. So yeah. So how's that? Does that look alright? Or did I go off good an angle? Looks like I've gone off a bit of an angle. Yeah, it's a bit difficult when it's dark to see where you're going. And I don't want to fill that hole. <laughs> I will fill that hole in. So hopefully by the time I get to the next video, I will have dug out, and this is all I'll be doing by the way, you don't want to watch me digging like this for an hour or two, I will be digging out a um, big area so I can start putting the infrastructure in for the, for the rocket. Um, as I said, I'm going to need a fuel farm. Where's my fuel? I don't mind running the fuel farm pipe quite a distance, that's okay. Because at the minute, all of my ices are in this side. So maybe it would make sense to build a rocket this side with a fuel farm here. Then when I do the sorting, when they, all the stuff comes back from the rocket, it can go back into the... Um, I don't know what that was. Um, go back into the sorting system quite easy. Yeah, that's probably a better idea, isn't it? Building it on this side. That's more sensible. So we'll do that. I will find another use for that hole I just carved it inside the mountain. Um, what's the other thing I was going to do? I was going to... Oh yeah. I want to move you, don't I? So what do I need to move you? That's it. Can I build you straight in this glass? I don't need to replace this. Oh no, I can build you here. Good. Now we just need high power cables. Oh, don't think we've got enough. Thought I heard a funny noise then. Um, yeah, he was still going, still hunting for ore. Electronics printer, that's you. Cables, heavy cables, I've got enough in you. Yeah, yeah, set you going. Yeah, for Amy, you haven't seen Amy in a while. It's, it's good just to come and have a look at these. If she's moving, then she's working. If they're static, then she's stuck. And you can use your GPS on your tablet to find her. Um, cabling, cabling. That's got to come across there, so I need that. So let's take the bits of that out I don't need. Which is you. You can replace it straight. Um, I'm guessing that's going through to there. Yeah, it must be. I'll take you out, replace you with straight. Um, oh, do I need to bring that across? I need to bring it across, really. Like so. Which have I got connected to then? How are that that's power yet? Okay. So I just need some cables for the connect to the side of the network. And then I need to go and sort out the programming on my Why aren't you running? I thought set you going. Sort the programming in here to make sure the lights work. Am I out of power? Can't be. Why is my printer printing? 
No, that's power, I can definitely see power. That's why I forgot to turn that on. So there's one, the reason it wasn't printing is there's one held here and it would be no for, worth for it to go. So I need maybe five or six of these. Let's try that. Oh. As I said, this is just going to be a quick video to give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing next. Um, and to get your feedback on what you think I should do and how you think I should build this rocket. Can I put one there? That's a too close, too close. I'm going to need more cabling. Yeah, I'm going to need another three, I think it is. It's annoying. Yeah, so leave me your feedback, guys. Let me know what you think. Where should I build the rocket? Should I build it inside the mountain or should I build it out towards the... That's that way. East. Or to the rocket uh, in the side of the mountain to the west. Obviously the east, like I said, the advantage of that is it's near my sorting station. Sorry, the west's near my sorting station. The east is inside the mountain. I will get them the right way around. Well done. Just need to turn you on. Where's your on switch? There you go. What's he huffing for? Got plenty of food, water, oxygen, power. Yeah. I forgot to name the weather station, doesn't matter. It's just the only weather station I've got, so I should be able to um, sort it out fairly quickly. To go back the other would be easier. There we go. Uh, you may know I've got a bit of a different screwdriver here. I foolishly threw my screwdriver into the uh, furnace and lost it. <laughs> so I had to make myself another one, so I made a Mark II screwdriver. I don't really know if it makes any difference. I think it's meant to make things a bit quicker, but I don't know if it does or not, to be honest. You don't really use a screwdriver much other than programming ICs. Um, I need some more filters. Um, which is a heavy filter. CO2. Invar Stellite. Invar Stellite. Oh, I've only got 3 grams of Stellite. How many do I need? Oh, 1. It's okay. Let's put a couple of those. Just to fill up my suit. Is Amy still going? No sign of her. Yep, still going, still moving. Oh, I had a uh, shoot in there. Come on, hurry up. God, it'll take a long time to print these ones. Turning stuff off to try and conserve some power. So, uh, yeah. There's so many things running now. I 
Where is the stupid robot? Oh, there she is. Yeah, see so, yeah, it. Good. Yep, so I'd say that a rocket in the mountain or a rocket on the plains. Which would you like? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I think I think that would probably be better with the with the fuel farm down here somewhere. And the rocket station over there. Because it needs to be I wonder far enough away so when it goes bang if it goes bang. It doesn't I mean they're both hills, I've still gotta flatten some of this. It doesn't take out my base. Um, but like I say, it's going to be easier to tie. Well, not really, you know, because that's kind of in the middle anyway. So I could do it either side. It's just the fuel farms. The oxide and the volatiles are here. And instead of going here, I could go divert them into the fuel farm. Hmm. Anyway guys, that's it. Uh, oh no it's not, I want to do one more thing. Uh, I want to do, um, that process everything. Yes it has. So let's turn you off and eject. I should get my rice back fairly quickly. Click the click all the way around. I don't know if Amy's back as well, because I hear a lot of clicking. Ah, uh, see, it's come through. That rice has come through uh, as a reagent mix again. So that's a shame. Oh well. Bye bye. Oh, that's resetting. I click, 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 click. Is this resetting? So, rocket station to the east. Or to the west. Let me know in the comments. This is Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.